Citizens, I just recorded my day four Luminalia video, and I thought I would actually take this time to check out the Pat Watch. Pat Watch. Patch Watch? Patch Watch. Yes, Patch Watch. We're going to look at these two posts. The first Patch Watch is a continuing lawlessness post. Now, the upcoming patch has a few things I'm very excited about. More rivers, more caves, more derelicts and points of interest, as well as the race courses and the PTV race courses. But we're going to look here at some quality of life adjustments, some changes that are coming in the 3.18 patch when it comes out. And so these are things really we're going to talk about that I'm excited about. I think it's going to be good. One is uh, when at Platinum Bay's players will only see ships that can spawn at the Platinum Bay. No more scrolling and guessing. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Because if you look at things like the Pisces or the uh, M50, you can actually spawn that at Platinum Bay as opposed to something like an Aurora, which will not spawn there. And so if you're trying to spawn a, a vehicle, it'll show you just the woods that will spawn at those bays, which is great. Very similar to how you don't see your ground vehicles when you're at New Babbage, unless you're at the garage. Uh, what else can we hear? Um, fish an issue with location sharing names. They should uh, be unique. So yeah, that's pretty good. That is a, an issue that has made it impossible to finish some um, some missions. Uh, different voices. Uh, siege abortion issues. Those are cool here. Uh, oxygen kiosk mission where it wouldn't pick the correct oxygen kiosk. That's a big one. You go all the way to it and it's not even the correct one. Um, made the black spot ignore the comma ray overview so players can commit crimes in the zone and get away with it. That's a pretty good one for people wanting to take part in the criminal gameplay as well as with the upcoming changes to um, security post Korea. Um, added prison based loot to the AI inhabiting prison caves. That's awesome. That means when you loot one of the AI in the caves in prisons, you can maybe get something like the shivs or something like that. That's a really cool thing. Uh, Platinum Bay, added Platinum Bay to Barton Flats. So players can go there after escaping the prison. That's really cool because normally you've been having to get people come pick me up in prison, come pick me up in prison. But now if you have something like a Pisces, you can get to Barton Flats from the prison on foot and then you can get yourself out of there. You don't have to keep asking someone to come pick you up, which is awesome. Uh, fix an issue where criminals can press charges against lawful players who snared them. Awesome. Really good. I mean, that has been an issue where people can uh, be criminals and then if someone tries to stop them by staring them so they can't quantum jump, they just press charges and make that lawful person a criminal themselves. So I'm glad that was fixed. Um, fix an issue where the gunner of a vehicle can get give the pilot a crime stat for attacking an AI vehicle. Good. That way you can't accidentally give someone else a crime stat. Med pens won't give crime stats when used on others. That's also really awesome. Fix an issue where if a player rams a stationary unmanned ship and is killed, they can press charges against the owner of the empty ship. I didn't even know that was possible, so I'm glad they fixed that. I haven't had that happen to me, so that's good. Fix an issue where an aggressor can crash into an innocent person's ship and then press charges for vehicle damage. Awesome that that was fixed. That has happened to me, and that happens quite often in the game. Fix an issue where players with crimes who have infiltrated the prison can wipe their crimes by getting the real into the release lift. Oh, I didn't even notice that was a thing. Uh, modify the call to arms mission to respect crime stats. I don't know what that means. Okay. Oh, maybe it's if you are a criminal, you can't earn with call to arms. Changes to crime stat 1 and 2 won't cause a player to be arrested or denied landing. Awesome. That means if you have a crime stat 1 or 2, which if you're getting a crime stat and you're not really trying to get a crime stat, it's just something little, that means that you can land and pay your fines and pay off those crime stats. That is terrific. What a great change. And now on to the newest one, which is Patch Watch 1.8. We are back in town. Uh, sorry, 3.18. And this is more based on the fact that this patch is still in development, still coming out. So Jump Town version 2.1. So what started as emergent gameplay before being implemented as dynamic event is now in its third iteration. After evaluating your feedback, Jump Town's illegal drug labs have doubled in size for version 2.1. Oh, it's going to be, look totally different. 
Now they also have a second entrance, a second drug dispenser, and multiple windows and skylights to improve gunplay inside. We made the, the lab circular and removed most of the doors for better visibility and fire lines. Awesome, awesome, awesome. That means also one or two people can't easily hold Grim Hex and take all the loot. Because if you're holding it, you're not able to go to the drug machines. And second drug dispensers means those conga lines can move twice as fast. That's terrific. And if you run the mission on the illegal side, you can also now sell the captured maze at junkyards along Grim's, alongside Grim Hex. Where are those junkyards? Are those new? I'm not sure. Um, we have the Moi Moi Ombre suit. This is a new suit in game. It is delightfully ugly. Wow. Whew, I will buy one of those for sure. That looks so ugly. Ship bug fixes. Let's see. Siren lights on the Anvil CAR Rescue Pisces have been improved over those that are currently in game. Gun racks and jump seats for the Anvil Valkyrie are now functional. I don't fly in a uh, Valkyrie, so I didn't know about that. Fix the Aegis Hammerhead's front lifts. I don't know what uh, headlights. F hammerheads. No, I can't read. I don't know. Front lifts. What does that mean? Like the front elevators? Shifted the Origin 890 jumps, hangar lifts, and doors around so they can be salvaged and scrapped. Ooh, because of salvage gameplay. You can... Uh, so... Did they move them, or are they just higher up? I'm not sure. That is, I'm kind of confused about what has changed. Visually, has that made a change? We will see. Agents Reclaimers will no longer have issues with player crouching in the cargo bay. And then the Reclaimer is going to be used a lot more in the upcoming salvage gameplay. Orion... Oh, Orion. Origin 600i Touring should now have an atmosphere in the midship lounge. Ooh, I did not know it didn't. That is a pretty big bug. Hammerheads component bays were added to the engine room. Cool. Smooth floor collisions on the Origin 400i, so there are no tiny gaps in the doors that make you duck down for a split second. Ah, that's just more annoying, so I can see why that is a quality of life thing. Argo Bowl and Aegis Vanguard's lockers will now close after being opened. I guess they just stayed open. Nothing about the... Nope, nothing about the raft, so I don't know if they fixed the elevator and the raft. Improve the access point to the Esperia Talon's pilot seat to make it safer. Were people getting crushed in it? Maybe. Aegis Redeemer's rear turret angles tweaked a bit. The Redeemer's atmospheric hole near the cockpit is fixed. Awesome. Miss Starfarer's rear turret angles tweaked. Awesome. Aegis Vanguard Sentinel's engineering power triangle fixed. I've never really played around with the power triangles. We have identified and fixed a bug. Ooh, awesome. So I didn't know this was just PTV. I thought it was sometimes PTV, sometimes other vehicles. But I have had this happen quite a few times. I just thought maybe the PTV itself was designed not to be off-road. But the identified and fixed a bug that caused the Great Cat PTV to explode while driving on the ice lake outside New Babbage. That happens all the time. And I didn't realize that was specifically a bug. I thought it was just PTVs are crappy and can't handle off-road. Origin 890 jumps, weapon rack slot should all be functional now. Aegis Reclaimer received a minor flight retune to aid in its atmospheric performance. So it's now more of a, a light brick as opposed to a heavy brick, I suppose, because it was never good in flight. I can't see how a minor flight retune is going to make much of a difference. Aegis Reclaimer has 122 SCU of temporary cargo grids added to the salvage deck to allow easier storage of salvage materials before requiring transport to the cargo deck area. This is an interim measure until more comprehensive rework of the Reclaimer is done to bring it up to gold standard. Does that mean it's got an extra 122 SCU if you were trying to use it for trading? Or if that's just a grid that it snaps to but doesn't show up in your uh, your cargo grids when you're doing trading. That'll be kind of interesting to see. I'm very excited to kind of check out the Reclaimer. Unfortunately, I don't have a Reclaimer, reclaimer so if you want to give me a Reclaimer tumor, tour, why can't I speak? If you want to give me a Reclaimer tour and bring me to do some, uh, some work, some salvage work, I would gladly come along to try that out. Further iteration on ground vehicle speeds have changed. We'll go quickly here. Arena Commander stuff changes that. Uh, is this all just Arena Commander? Yeah, so that's all Arena Commander. So let's see. Uh, most vehicles have stayed the same. Uh, we've got a couple that have gone faster. The STV is the same, but we've got the Cyclone. And the all the Cyclones seem to have sped up, except for the Anti-Artillery. Artillery. The TR and the MT are slightly... Oh, they're the same. They just haven't sped up. The Ursa has sped up. The Ballista has slowed down. The Nova, Mule, Rock, Rock DS, and PTV have all slowed down. Well, that'll be interesting. The PTV was at 15. They bumped it up to 24. Now they've dumped it, bumped it down to 20. That's going to be used in the races, so it's going to be kind of interesting to see. Uh, the Rock and Rock DS 
I mean, they've always been kind of fast in my opinion, and they actually sped them up. So the fact they're bringing them back down, I think, is a good change as well. So that is it so far. I mean, there's many more. If you just go to general, and you can check out the patch watches that are here and see all the, the different changes. While you're at it, enter one of these screenshot contests or the holiday greeting card contest. Maybe win yourself some cool prizes. That is it. We're at the 10 minute mark. I'm going to call it here. Thank you again for watching. Let me know if you really, if I missed one of the more important changes or if you're looking forward to some of these changes in 3.18. Until next time, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the verse. Goodbye, everybody.